48 Hours is investigating the kidnapping of a Louisiana mother in a quiet suburban neighborhood. In August of 2017, Shonda Handley was taken at gunpoint from her own home in the middle of the day. How she survived may seem like a miracle. 48 Hours contributor and our lead national correspondent, David Begno, met with Handley for her very first TV interview. And he shows us how the gut feeling of an off-duty sheriff's deputy likely saved her life. Around 2.30 in the afternoon on August 6, 2017, Shonda Hanley was at her home in Lafayette, Louisiana with her daughter Isabella when the doorbell rang. I went to the door and it's these two men. The two men posing as delivery guys forced themselves in with guns. They started to scream to get the F on the floor and don't move. They handcuffed me in front like this. Isabella, upstairs at the time, rushed to see what was going on. I was just stunned. The two men took Shonda, threw her in the back of a white van, and drove off. Prosecutors Kenny Abair and Donald Kinnett. These guys are heading out of town with Shonda Hanley in the back of that van. How often do residential kidnappings happen here? Very rare. Yeah, not very often at all. Not long after, Sheriff's Deputy Chad Martin clocked out of work and headed home. He was unaware of Shonda's kidnapping 60 miles away. As I was traveling, there was a wreck on the interstate. I got stopped behind a white van. I could kind of see the, the driver of the van was starting to get nervous in the mirror. He was looking at me. He decided to get into the shoulder and speed off. Well, it didn't sit right with me, so I got in behind him. I put my emergency lights, sirens on. Martin followed the van as the driver exited the interstate, turned down a dirt road, and then got stuck in the mud. Two men jumped out and took off running. When you approach the van, you've got your gun drawn? Yes, sir. I opened the rear door of the van, and in the van, what I thought was a mannequin moved. It scared me, it startled me, so I jumped back and I shut the door. I said, oh my God, things aren't always what they seem. Oh. Ooh. You're not gonna believe what happened next. Ooh. Wow. Are you gonna tell us? Well, the two men, <laughs> the two men jump out the car. Yeah. And they jump in the water. Yeah. And what happens next shocks everyone. I, I, I that's, so a that, that's a good team. That's a good that's team. A, it's a Saturday night. You got me hanging on. Yeah, I don't even do. know where I am right word. now. I was in that scene right there. Yes. Like that off-duty officer. What, what made him, though, stop the van? Because he said the guy looked nervous. So it's fascinating. First of all, he's on his way home. His wife's upset that he's late because he's chronically late. Uh -huh. And he saw the van drive on the side of the road because the van saw him in the rearview mirror. Hmm. Wow. And the driver got nervous. Wow. Had it not been for that, I think Shonda Handley would be dead today. Do we have any idea and, of yeah, motive? Man. Yeah. Sh Shonda has no connection to those guys? Zero. Nil. Zero. Nil. So here's the deal. Her estranged husband ended up going on trial, accused of everything. But the question is, how did the husband connect with the guys who were driving the van? Yeah. And how did the guys driving the van know about the wife, right? right. Look, I grew up in this area. Mm -hmm. Women don't get kidnapped in broad daylight out of their home and home. put in the back well, of a vehicle and head down Interstate 10. It, it just doesn't happen. It doesn't yeah. happen almost anywhere. In right? I mean, that's not a commonplace thing no matter what. Right? This happened back in 2017. I remember when the 48 Hours producers came to me. I was in Puerto Rico covering Hurricane Maria. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I hadn't even heard about it. So I started calling people. I called, like, my high school speech coach. I was like, have you heard of this Shonda Hanley case? And she's like, oh, yeah, we heard about it. So um, does your 48, because we have lots of questions, David, does the go. 48 hours piece answer the questions, like the connection? 100%. 100%. Motive? Yeah. So the bottom line is the estranged husband is in prison, uh -huh. okay. right? And loves to hear himself talk and wanted to talk to us, but the prison shut it down. He is the alleged mastermind. Mm -hmm. But how he came to put it all together, together, how he found two men, what he did. By the way, I'll give you one more thing before we go. Okay. Shonda Hanley, before the husband goes to prison, goes to their hunting camp in Mississippi, and she's looking at a camera, and she goes, what's this? And so she opens it. They start playing back the camera, and all of a sudden, the husband for months had been saying things, and the camera Caught, caught and all of it. Wow. She calls the prosecutor. She's like, you'll never believe what I just found. Mm. David, this is such Smoking a good gun. story. Such a good Tomorrow story. Tomorrow night, 48 Tomorrow. hours. All right, we're booked up then. All right, David, thank you very much. You can see David's full report. The Tony kidnapping goes, give of me back Shonda my Hanley on 48 hours. <laughs> Tomorrow night at 10, 9 central here on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus.